Mark from Vortec Pro. Today we have a 427 dyno test. What we have here is a 1972 first design L88 over the counter engine. My customer ran this in his car from 72 till recently. He sent it in to have us go through it and change a few things on it and find some more power. So I'm going to go through what we did to this engine. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments because I'll, I'll happily answer them. So we had a Virgin First Design L88 short block here with a set of 840 head, closed chamber heads. And what we ended up doing is we, we indexed the crank, we set the stroke to 3.765, Of course, the stroke was all over the place from the factory, so we cleaned that up. It's all indexed now. It's 1010. We used a SCAT 6385 rod with a race tech piston, and we set the compression at 102 to 1. We used a King rod main bearing set in the motor, along with a billet, a billet timing chain set. Cam is a solid roller, it's 260, 270, and 50 on a 108 with 630 lift at the valve. We took the oil pan, and the customer wanted to use the factory pan, so we, we made our modifications to it and put a tray in it at the same time. And uh, we're running maximum 1040 conventional motor oil with the Wix 51061 filter. Now on the heads, back in the 70s, someone had put an exhaust seat in one of the exhausts, and they hit water, and they just put the seat over it. So we ended up having to weld the head. And once we got the head welded, we put all one piece, 11 32nd knock-in bronze guides in the head and honed them to size. Then we put a 2250 intake valve. We took an inch 880 exhaust and we cut it down from inch 880 to inch 800. We used an ISKI 9315 dual spring with a comp retainer and a 10 degree lock. For rocker studs, we used an ARP rocker stud and a comp 4806 8 guide plate. The push rods were Smith Brothers. 80 wall chromoly 3 8 push rods. We topped it off with a performer RPM air gap with an 850 Holly. Got an MSD distributor in there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to run the engine for you and let you listen to it. Then we'll make some dyno pulls. test of our L88. So we're not able to post pictures of the dyno sheet yet because uh, we actually don't know how to edit it in but 
Here, here's what we ended up with for power. We were over 600 horsepower at 5600 at 603, and the peak was 652.6 at 66. So it was over 600 horsepower for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, for, 12, for a 1200 RPM span. And peak torque was 590.9 at 5000 RPM. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section. And uh, we have a Copo 427 coming up and a 360 small block coming up. We appreciate you watching our videos.